Hello everyone. Today we continue our study of wisdom and its many faces. Uh, this is lesson eight in our series and it's titled Wisdom, The Way, Truth, and Life. And our focus scripture is from the book of John chapter 14 verses 1 through 14. And Jesus says, do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. And Jesus said to him, Have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. This conversation takes place on the night that Jesus was to be arrested. Uh, Jesus had just washed the disciples' feet and had predicted his betrayal and also shared with Peter that he would deny him three times before the cock crows. It's no wonder that disciples, that Jesus tells the disciples uh, to not have troubled hearts. They didn't understand uh, what was about to happen. Uh, Jesus is about to leave them and go prepare a place for them to be with the Father. He tells them he is the way. So they probably can't comprehend that as well. But Jesus clarifies his claim by also declaring he is the truth and life. He is the truth because he comes from the Father. And we know he is life because he gave life to Lazarus. Jesus goes on to tell us that the ones who believe in him will do greater works than he did. Jesus is referring to the spreading of the gospel. This is all possible because Jesus is, giving, uh, is going to the Father and will send the Holy Spirit. Jesus is about to go away in this account in the scriptures, but promises to be present with us now and in the mission of the church. John says Jesus is necessary for anyone to come to the Father. He does not say that church membership is necessary. Jesus' significance is not limited to the church, but includes the world. Jesus says he will draw all people to himself, and so also to the Father. Jesus will be the way, the truth, and life for everyone. Let us pray. O oh God, with rich diversity you created all people in your image. Save us from falling into the trap of fear and prejudice against those who differ from us. By your grace, empower us to point to your love revealed in Jesus, who is our home 
and who has room for us all. Amen.